just because of the breed of infestation, of inflammation, of yeast, of bacteria on your scalp, it is completely stopping your hair from growing. Latina from Brooklyn, Beverly, and we are here with the video. We, who? Me, I'm sorry. I'm speaking for the future husband that I don't have or will have that's gonna be doing videos with me one day, okay, y'all? I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming. Anyway, I'm here with the video about a topic that a lot of us deal with, but we don't talk about. We may have dealt with it at one point in our life, but we're dealing with it now. Long story short, it affects our hair growth aka it causes hair loss and it's something called seborrheic dermatitis okay now simply put because i'm a simple chick and i love to just get straight to the point i like to keep it simple silly right what is seborrheic dermatitis it's a yeast infection on your head sis that's what it is it is a yeast infection on your scalp I wanna make it sound better than what it is, but that's exactly what it is. And I'm not judging you, I'm not judging you, okay? Now, I'm not about to sit here and tell you that it spreads from, you know, from your vaginal area. No, that's not what it is. It is a different form of yeast. There's sef several different forms of yeast, okay? There's different spectrums, different yeast types. So I'm not about to sit here and tell you that no, it spread from your vaginal area to your scalp. That's not what we're saying. But it's literally just a yeast infection on your scalp. And how does it present? It presents as itchiness, scaliness, flakes. It could be yellow, it could be red. I mean, we all have seen it before. If you haven't seen it on yourself, you've seen it on a child as cradle pap. And it's not dandruff because dandruff is within itself another form of some type of either yeast or bacterial infection that's happening on your scalp that's causing flakes. It could be extreme dryness and itchiness. But no, Sebderm specifically is a yeast infection on your scalp. So how do you treat a yeast infection? No, don't go to Target and get Monistat 7. No, no, no. Please, my first advice to everyone, I like to say I'm semi-homemade. <laughs> Meaning, I love DIY stuff, but two things about DIY, okay? And I'm gonna tell you now, for those of y'all DIY, die hard DIY fans, please don't at me. But you can come for me in the comments because I need the engagement. But here's my thing with DIY. If it's gonna cost me way more money to go buy all the little ingredients to make the DIY product, than it is to just buy the product in the store. Well, not in the store. It has to be a specific product, but with specific quality to just get it and, and get it done. I'm gonna buy the product. That's just me. That's just me. But number two, DIY is not to replace you actually going to see a dermatologist and getting treatment. Get treatment right at the start, sis, okay? A lot of us have it messed up as black and brown women. We first try to treat cancer at home with some tea and some ginger ale instead of going to a doctor and get it treated. The tea and the ginger ale is supposed to support what the doctor does and it's supposed to help you with maintenance. And honestly, it's supposed to help you with prevention, meaning we wasn't supposed to go to the doctor for this problem in the first place. But now that we have this problem, can we just go, go to the doctor and let's mix it up with our DIY stuff and let's cap it with the DIY and optimize it with the DIY because Ain't nothing like a good home remedy, okay, from back home. Ain't nothing like it. But please, do not, do not think that you're gonna start with the DIY at home to cure cancer, okay? Now, don't come for me, those of you who have. And if you have, please comment down below and tell me how you did that, because that's very impressive, okay? But anyway, back to the point at hand. That's a yeast infection on your scalp, so I'm gonna tell you typically what's gonna happen to treat that, okay? But then I'm gonna give you a DIY for my DIY girls, and you gotta stick to the end because I'm gonna show you, please, okay? No cheating, okay? So what is seborrheic dermatitis? I can tell you pretty much it's yeast, fungus, or even bacterial infection on your scalp. So how does it present? There's many of us who dealt with it or is dealing with it, so I can tell you how it presents. It presents as red, maybe sometimes red or yellow patches, um, of fl flaky patches on your scalp, okay? It can also cause an extreme case of dandruff. We all know what dandruff is. You can see it on infants as cradle cap. Just know that it's itchy, it's inflammation, it's 
and not to say nasty in a judging tone, but it's nasty as in it's just uncomfortable. It's just a bed of, of yeast and infest infestation on your scalp caused by so many different things, which we can't even go into, but just know that it does, just because of the breed of infestation, of inflammation, of yeast, of bacteria on your scalp, it is completely stopping your hair from growing, okay? So let's talk about first things first is, if you're dealing with all these things, please go see a dermatologist. Do not, do not, do not. And this is my advice, and I will always tell everyone this is my advice. Don't self-treat first and then go to go see a professional after. That's what we always do. We're like, okay, I'll just see if I can take care of this at home. And if I can't, when my scalp is falling off, then I'm gonna go see a doctor. No sis, see a doctor first. Always see a doctor first so that they can treat immediately. And then you wanna mix in some DIY treatments so that that way, you can go ahead and maintain whatever they did so that it doesn't revert back to what it was in the first place, okay? So step number one, you're gonna go see a doctor, see a dermatologist. If you need a dermatologist in your area that specializes in skin of color and black hair, please click on the description below where you can find a doctor in your area that specializes in skin of color, okay? If you don't know where to start, let's start with that. Then the second step is what the doctors are gonna usually do is, there. I mean, there's different, different strokes with different folks. Some doctors are gonna just eyeball it and they're gonna just treat you with either an antifungal, a cream, a gel, maybe something topical. Sometimes they may give you something to take. Some doctors are going to give you steroids, basically steroids is gonna reduce the inflammation on your scalp you can get over-the-counter steroids like hydrocortisone but like I said it's not as potent it's not as powerful so you want to go to a doctor so they can give you something like fluocinolone something like ketoconazole something that you can either a shampoo that is medicated that can go on your head on your scalp and start to clear away the debris they can give you a carolytic. A carolytic is usually a product that has salicylic acid or something that's gonna basically start removing the dead cells from your scalp that is building and compounding and clearing the debris away. So that's the first step. The second step is I'm gonna name a few over-the-counter products that you can get, whether it's over-the-counter or, you know, on Amazon, etc. So Neutrogena has a cold tar, they have a gel that's a shampoo that you can use on your head. Basically that shampoo, you put that cold tar on your on your head and it's gonna start to, the properties in that, in that gel is going to start to, again, remove, clear away the debris, clear away the dead cells so you can get cell regeneration. Also, there's the salicylic acid, which Neutrogena also has as T-cell. And again, that's a carolytic, and the goal of a carolytic is to basically buffer away, exfoliate, and detox all the dead cells, all the bad skin, remove the bad layers, remove the bad cells so that your skin can start to generate new skin cells, okay? There's Celsin Blue, you know, there's also Head and Shoulders. We all know about Head and Shoulders if you want an over-the-counter product. As I said, go to a doctor first. They're gonna give you a medicated shampoo, a medicated cream. They may give you something to take that's gonna pretty much deal with the yeast right away. And then you can, they might recommend that you get Celsin Blue or something like Head and Shoulders to continue kind of keeping your scalp or your, P, your scalp's pH at balance, okay? Now, for my DIY girls, for all of you girls that love a DIY treatment, Follow me into my kitchen. I'm gonna show you really quickly how to make something that is, you're gonna put, it's gonna be a mask, okay? You're gonna basically put it on your scalp for like 20 minutes during your wash day every week because you're washing your hair every week now, sis, okay? No more co-washing. We're not co-washing anymore, okay? Deaf to the co-wash and we're not sitting in filth or we're not letting product build up for a month or two months at a time, okay? So every week you're gonna put this on your scalp before you shampoo and condition and you know, you're gonna wash it off and this is gonna significantly help improve that and it's gonna make sure that you prevent further septerm, separate dermatitis or yeast infection outbreaks on your scalp. Okay, sis? So, follow me. Okay, so for this seborrheic dermatitis treatment, this DIY treatment, you're gonna need apple cider vinegar, tea tree oil, essential oil, and you're gonna need water. So real quick, 
apple cider vinegar is rich in vitamins and minerals good for your hair and of course your scalp it has vitamin c and b in it but most importantly it contains alpha hydroxy acid which helps to exfoliate scalp skin basically it's an anti-inflammatory and it is amazing nature's like dandruff treatment okay then you're just going to put equal parts of water and the tea tree essential oil okay the tea tree essential oil is antifungal antibacterial antimicrobial so all that stuff you're just going to mix into this bowl and then you're just going to take like a cotton swab and you're going to just put that on your scalp each day that's going to really help to treat that seborrheic dermatitis and that is more for maintenance that is not necessarily to treat it but once you're getting the treatment that you need that apple cider vinegar treatment or aka rinse um, that you can put on your scalp daily is going to be really really good for maintaining that treatment at home see how easy that was no i didn't put it on my own scalp because my hair is straight and i love y'all i love y'all to pieces but i'm not finna go wash my hair right 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 now just to prove a point you know how to do it you're gonna take the mask like i said you're gonna apply it to your scalp for 20 minutes let it just sit there let it do what it do let it mold it just let it marinate okay for 20 minutes before you shampoo and condition and then you're gonna shampoo and condition okay you're gonna wash it out and then you're gonna shampoo and condition okay you're gonna do that once a week because we're washing our hair once a week sis right right depth to the co-wash i'm sorry to all you co-washes out there but no, 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 no. Death to the co-wash. We are cleansing our scalps and removing the buildup and the dirt and all of that and preventing yeast infections on our scalp moving forward. Okay. So listen, I just want to, I just want to say this. You, if you are prone to yeast infections on your scalp or septum, I don't want to make you feel no type of way. Listen, it doesn't make you less of a woman. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. And there are treatments. So why are you suffering? Why? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for your response. Please let me know down below why you're suffering. So remember, step number one, go see a dermatologist. If you need information on a bomb dermatologist in your area that specializes in skin of color or hair of color, please, 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 please go down to the description down below, the description box below. Say that fast a hundred times. Okay. And we are the plug here at Hair Scripts and we will connect you to a bomb doctor in your area that is going to take care of that problem quickly two you're going to get one of those over-the-counter products that we mentioned in this video and three you're going to make that mask and you're going to use that mask every week sis and you're going to see your hair is going to start to grow back your hair not only is going to grow back but you're going to see thicker fuller shinier hair in about six months okay please comment down below if you got it if you got all the instructions and even if it's six months later let me know how this saved and helped your life okay thank you